Brandon, you can, if you want to get prepared. So my preparation, we have the brand new Coke Energy and I have my Jack Daniels number seven. <laughs> <laughs> so, and I got a plastic cup because I get a little, get a little tipsy. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I'm a cheap date. <laughs> Gotta put my drink down. Basically right now, we're just kind of roughing the surface with a little bit of 600 grit. And as you can see, it's got some surface rust, which is gonna be okay. I mean, it's not, if it's on the outside of the vehicle, obviously you'd want to get it all off. But since it's on the inside, you're never gonna see it. It's not a show car. Yeah. It's gonna be okay. Yeah. So basically what I'm doing now is this uh, is a prep solvent. Alcohol works great. Mm. Um, alcohol, even glass cleaner, just something to knock the dirt off of and knock most of the dirt and grime off. Right. Because obviously look at all this. So this is our self-etching primer, duplicate nice. color. It's good stuff. You pick it up at your local O'Reilly's. It's like $8 a can. It's a is little pricey. Is that the color of it? Yes. So a lot of OEM etch primers, uh -huh. they call it wash primer, Cause the, is green. The Rust-Oleum brand's gray. Yes. So why green? Um, this is more of an OEM finish. So a lot uh, of uh, newer vehicles. The dip look, is green. You're correct. right. Yeah, the you're right. wash primer dip is green. Yeah. And so that's why they use this gotcha. because then the overspray areas aren't as noticeable. Gotcha. Because it just looks like, oh, okay, that's a little OEM wash primer, no gotcha. big deal. So uh, we went with this uh, for obviously ease of use. Cool. And also this is DTM, direct to metal, so it'll actually etch into your metal. Mm. So. Yeah. Step one. There it is. There you go. Now, we're just gonna lay down a, a nice even coat of this and basically what you're looking for is the metal to be completely covered. It um, doesn't have to be perfect, obviously, because we're going to be painting over top of this. So. This is a, what we call a cover coat. Yep. Um, basically, we're just trying to get it a blue shade, hmm. and then we will come over with the correct blue shade. Hmm. Oftentimes, we do this in painting to save on materials. So basically, this stuff, it's nascent. Fast dry acrylic enamel, as you can read the can. This stuff, you basically call up Napa, give them a paint code, they can shake it. Most stores, um, the, the smaller stores can't actually mix it. However, they can get their bigger stores to mix it and ship it to their store. So this stuff is really awesome because, you know, like if you do like an engine bay or something, this works really good to get in tight areas uh, once again. Yeah. And also, um, just little touch up areas, you know, maybe you weld it on something. So basically your first couple coats, um, it's okay if there's some bare spots, you're gonna get them covered. Spray in a crosshatch pattern to get the, the best coverage, as well as um, not have all the tiger striping is what most people are familiar with it as, where you'll actually see where I've swiped each individual time. Hmm. Um, and just kind of go with a, with a medium wet coat, not, not really heavy, but not really light. It's coming out. Yeah. So you're gonna wanna give it a little bit of flash time. Um, I would wait a good five, ten minutes. That's it? Yeah. Sure. What about, does the clear? The clear is... Ooh, the clear kind of floats. Yes. Ooh, I'm backing way up. Not that clear would probably hurt the GoPro at all, but... Wow, the clear's floating away. Thank God it's clear. Yeah. It's like you keep thinking that, officer. I'm a good little guy. Yeah. I'm a good little boy, officer. Yeah. That yeah. carbon fiber wing is just because I like to show off. It's not yeah. anything to do with downforce at 160 miles an hour. I like to assert my chicken size. Yeah. I have to prove that my chicken is bigger than my wing. Well, for the people that don't know what I'm talking about, this wing looks big but this is an aerodynamically correct wing. It is designed to provide downforce at the correct speeds. It's not actually here to look good. It's here to do a job with the canards in the correct shape to but create- it does look sexy. It does look really funky and sexy and it makes my chicken look bigger, right? No, but this is a functional wing. It's not that stupid adult words chassis mount big chicken disgusting garbage that everybody likes it's a real I like chassis mount. he likes chassis mount it's a real functional wing I like big wings. 
Yeah. He likes big <laughs> So we're here with our uh, co-driver Brandon, who is also our, I don't even know what to call it. You're like a body man. Is that what you'd say? Body work? What's that called? Auto body technician. Auto body technician. He is our master auto body technician. So he is here to paint our new harness bar, our new floor plates, and to repaint the dash bar that was not painted correctly. So he knows how to paint. I don't know how to paint, so I'm just gonna kind of stand here and watch him do his work. Really, this is kind of a, uh, this, for lack of a better word, this is just a, uh, this isn't really like an exact science um, since we're just spray painting. Uh, normally, painting is a lot more complex, um, but with the spray paint, it's pretty forgiving. Your main thing is just get your coverage and to not run it, so. Cool. So, Brandon, you can if you want to get prepared. So my preparation, we have the brand new Coke Energy, which I actually tried in November in Japan before everybody else, which was awesome. So, you tried it. It was, it was actually, yeah, it was surprisingly good. It's fucking legit. And I have my Jack Daniels number seven. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, that's basically like a Jack and Coke version of a, of a Jaeger bomb. Yeah. So, and I got a plastic cup because I get a little, get a little tipsy. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I'm a cheap date. I'm a very, 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 very cheap date. And I mean, I'm not, I don't want you guys to think I'm being a dick by making Brandon do all this work. So since Brandon's our co-driver, there's a lot of, you know, there's a lot of, uh, I don't know how to say it. Like he does stuff, I do stuff, you know, As like. You get familiar with the vehicle, yeah. really, I mean. So that way we both know what needs to happen in case of an event where your, you know, racetrack side broke down yeah. and both of us need to work on it or something. Yeah. So. Yeah, I mean, it's a partnership, you know, I mean, the, there's going to be a lot of hotel costs, a lot of race fees that I'll be covering mostly. So I'm kind of working Brandon a little bit here and there, you know, but I mean, he's a professional at body work. So he's going to, I told him, go ahead and just paint this as quick and cheaply as we can paint it which is why we're using spray paint because we don't want to spend money on a car that's going to be flying down a gravel road at 80 to 100 miles an hour and it's going to ruin the paint anyway not only that yeah that's a big thing and also it's not it doesn't need to be perfect i mean no. it's it's the inside of a vehicle that is a race car yeah you know it's not a show car it's not something like that Basically right now, we're just kind of roughing the surface with a little bit of 600 grit. And as you can see, it's got some surface rust, which is going to be okay. I mean, it's not, if it's on the outside of the vehicle, obviously you'd want to get it all off. But since it's on the inside, you're never going to see it. It's not a show car. Yeah. It's going to be okay. Yeah. So what happened is I think they forgot to spray under this bar when they sprayed it. Um, or whatever way they used to mask it maybe prevented them from spraying it. I well, don't know. Most likely, so they didn't uh, have the right. Well, like like my gun, I spray. They're called uh, PPS cups, and what it is is it's a plastic liner that goes in the cup on top of the paint gun. So I can actually invert my gun upside down and spray it. Now a lot of people run a traditional cup, which is just. A metal cup on oh, top. Oh yeah, you can't yeah, yeah. Invert it. So they didn't probably. All your shit out. They probably didn't have the liner. Correct. Yeah. So the, it, you know, the liner system. That's a perk to it. Um, you pay a little bit more money for it. But like I said, then you can invert your paint gun. So that's obviously an issue with painting these cages. Is the rounded surfaces and difficult areas to reach. So um, typically, you know, sometimes the rattle can actually ends up working better. You can get a better paint job just because you can get to places that you, know, you can't normally get to with your gun once you have your air fittings and stuff on the bottom of your gun and you're trying to spray in there. I'm gonna go get the vacuum. There's some shit in the bottom from towing it down the highway. Uh, where is the vacuum?
Oh, I'm so glad I have these cord reels. <laughs> Gotta put my drink down. Okay, I'm gonna pause the video while I vacuum because it's too loud, very loud. So Brandon, oh, what about the harness bar? I already got it. Holy shit, Brandon's fast. Most In the time it took me to vacuum, he sanded everything. So actually, and now you said you're gonna go wash your hands. Yeah, wash my hands. Good man. So um, the next step is we're gonna lay down an edge primer, which actually bonds to the metal. So. All you want to do is you basically want to clean the surface of the metal and lightly scuff it. That's why we use 600. Mm -hmm. um, and it's not like the metal is going to be exposed to a lot of extreme, you know, like rubbing. Like like right here, you know, you'd want to get it really prepped because you're going to rub this every time you get in and out. Mm -hmm. But on something underneath the seat, really doesn't matter. Right. It's really there for just Which is why protection. we're going to clear coat the harness bar because the belts are going to rub the fuck out Correct. of it. Yeah. But we're not going to clear coat the other two items because yeah, it's, it's not necessary. It's not necessary. Yeah. So, um, like um, I said, the edge primer helps bite into the metal. Are, are we going to use, the, just for, do we need a tack cloth in that prep solvent, or do you think it's um, pretty clean? We'll use the prep solvent. Uh, the tack cloth really Not doesn't matter because gotcha. where we're painting, it's irrelevant. It's right. Gotcha. So. Cool. Ooh, <laughs> that was close there. Washing his hands. Washing the paws. See, in some countries, this would be illegal. Having a camera in the bathroom. Yeah, I know. Like in Japan, it's yeah. highly illegal. I saw a meme the other day, and it had like, I don't know, it was a really dirty meme in it. Yeah. It had Oreos, oh, and uh, it had like a Japanese reference where the Oreo was blinked out. Oh for, my god. Uh, the nudity purposes <laughs> of Japan. Oh god, they love censoring shit. Yeah. And it doesn't make any sense because prostitution is legal in certain Which parts really of Japan, yeah, that but you can't have porn. What? I don't know. I don't know, it's a, it's a double standard, uh, I guess. Uh, so. what the fuck? What the fuck was that? Uh, there's one over here, it's actually got a vent thing in it. Oh, don't tell me I took the vent out. Oh, no. I might be able to 3D print one, but I doubt it. That's pretty complex. I fucked myself. What the hell is that for? Is that just for... Cause... <laughs> I don't know, this is Porsche shit. The door seals here, so that must be for like a. I do. I don't uh, know. Yeah. Well. So while Brandon's working on that, we got everything masked off that we don't want to get paint on. So the quick release, uh, the shifter, uh, hydro, the turn lever here on the line lock. We got our uh, roll cage nameplates. Uh, taped off so we don't mess up those that logo from the roll cage manufacturer. We got our fuel fittings covered, which they need to be covered anyway. Yeah, and most so. of this, like I said, it's not a big issue um, since the paint that we're using is aerosol and it's a lacquer base. A lot of times the paint is dry um, before it actually gets the things to, you know, have overspray on them. Yeah. So a lot of the, as soon as it goes airborne, it's essentially dry. I mean, it's right. not going to physically put a lot of overspray on a lot of stuff. So. Right. We were originally going to bring this car to his body shop and have like a normal normal spray job done, but not only have I had people ask me on YouTube to make a video about painting, but we didn't really think it'd be worth loading it on a trailer in the freezing cold, taking it to the shop, prepping it, and you have to do way more prep work because the stuff on the spray gun will float. It'll get on the engine. It'll get on the glass. I would have to mask this entire vehicle. Right, up. which fuck that. Correct. For a race car, a car, a race, off-road race car. It's not even like a nice race car. It's a, we're going to go as fast as we can. Dude, some gravel road. I, ha I have it's to show you, yeah, itself. I have to show you the video from that rally I went to. Uh, um, Adam uploaded two of the stages. My God, those roads are fucking sketch. Yeah. This is the sketchiest roads I've ever seen him run in his car, but he did pretty damn good. There was a couple mistakes where I thought he was going to smoke a tree. But you saved it. But it's really good video for us because we can kind of steal some of his secrets. Like, you can't hear them talking to each other, which sucks. Yeah. Like, one of the things I'm... 
I'm gonna do in my video is I'm gonna find a, a little audio mixer cable and you plug that into the GoPro and then plug it into your headsets and you can mix how loud the headsets are versus outside audio. That's really cool. Yeah, so that way we can put Actually our, our yes, audio. so you can hear me cussing and I can hear you going left, right, tree, tree, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> boom, <laughs> yeah. fuck. So basically what I'm doing now is this uh, is a prep solvent. Alcohol works great. Mm. Um, this is just what this we have. came for free with the custom paint. So right. it was Alcohol like a kit. Alcohol does the same thing. This yeah. is probably yeah. This is probably what this is. Alcohol, even glass cleaner, just something to knock the dirt off of and knock most of the dirt and grime off. Right. Because obviously, look at all this shit. Yeah. So uh, you don't want to paint over that because you don't get the adhesion um, when you're painting over dirt. Mm. And we're using a lint-free cloth, which is is kind of irrelevant in this. Um, if you're painting okay. the exterior of a, of, a, of a vehicle, you want to use something that's kind of lint-free. Gotcha. And then you'll use what you were talking about, a tack rag, tack cloth, which is yeah. a it's a rag that's got an adhesive, yeah. a mild adhesive, and basically attracts the dirt away from the panel. Which it's a roll it's cage. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this is probably how we're going to paint the roll cages in the drift cars, right? I mean. Yeah, fuck yes. If we paint them, <laughs> if we paint them at all, I mean, yeah. yeah. So this is our self-etching primer, duple nice. color. It's good stuff. You pick it up at your local O'Reilly's. It's like eight dollars a can. It's a is little pricey. Is that the color of it? Yes. So a lot of OEM etch primers, uh -huh. they call it wash primer. Because the is green. The Rust-Oleum brand's gray. Yes. So why green? Um, this is more of an OEM finish. So a lot uh, of uh, newer vehicles, the if dip you look, is green. You're correct. right. Yeah, the you're right. Wash primer dip is green. Yeah. And so that's why they use this gotcha. because then the overspray areas aren't as noticeable. Gotcha. Because it just looks like, oh, okay, it's a little OEM wash primer, no gotcha. big deal. So uh, we went with this uh, for obviously ease of use. Cool. And also this is DTM, direct to metal, so it'll actually etch into your metal. Mm. So. Yeah. Step one, shake the shit out of it. Yeah. And the ball's not even rolling in that thing, holy no. shit. Yeah. How long has it been sitting on the shelf? It's been a while. Come on, man. You're supposed to be good at that. That's all you've... <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Jack and Coke. I smell it. It smells really good. Mm, you're not allowed to have any. I know. <laughs> there it is. There you go. I'm just glad we had lunch first. I would be on the ground right now. <laughs> How far back do I have to stay to keep that shit from getting on the GoPro? Just like three or four feet? Yeah. yeah. So obviously you wanna, they always tell this to you in every YouTube video, spray in a well ventilated area. Well, we're in a big uh, shower. Uh, yeah. Relevant. And we Plus can't, hold the shit we can't open the doors or it'll be too cold. Correct. So, so you, ideally you wanna spray around 70 degrees, um, wherever that might be. Yeah. Um, we have the shop set on 70. Yeah. The humidity is a little high. It's like 55%. Yes. Yeah. But, so, yeah. um, obviously, don't be like sitting here like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, that is frowned do, upon. Do that is frowned upon. Yeah. And we pulled the car away from the curtain and the seats and everything. So there's no way in hell that paint's going to get over it's there. Settled. Yeah. And if it does settle on this it's wall, I can just scrub it yeah, off because it's, it's, it's metal dry. wall, yeah. yeah. Now, we just go lay down a, a nice even coat of this. And basically what you're looking for is the metal to be completely covered. It um, doesn't have to be perfect, obviously, because we're going to be painting over top of this. So. Yeah, it's falling to the ground almost immediately. It's not yeah, floating at it all. Float. That's awesome. And obviously, you should be wearing a paint mask, Brandon. <laughs> Dude, masks are getting hard to find. I was trying to find some N95s, yeah. and their their prices skyrocketed, and they're like two weeks behind delivery. I like, wonder why. Yeah, <laughs> even Amazon Prime, it's a two-week delivery for some masks. 
Do you know some fucker from China is gonna fly over here and infect all of us? I mean, it's only a matter what of time. What about all the goods that they're shipping over? Have you yeah, they're, that? they're still shipping them. Yeah. And I guarantee you there's, well, See, that's, they said the coronavirus can only ice. live for nine days. And it takes, well, I would hope it takes more than that to ship. Yeah, but they're still saying it. Yeah, if you airship some fish over, you're gonna infect everyone. So, yeah. yeah, it's bad. It's really bad. And you know they're faking those fucking numbers. You know it's more than 800 people dead. There's probably 8,000 people dead. Probably. And they're not just not gonna tell us. God, that shit's, yeah, I'm gonna back up for this. So I don't, you probably can't see it in the GoPro, but as soon as he finishes spraying, it's falling right back down to the ground. Yeah. So. It doesn't, it doesn't hang around long. Uh, but you really should wear a paint mask. Yeah, it is. It's recommended. just, they're all sold out, right? So that's our excuse. Yeah, that Fucking coronavirus. I really don't have one at work. Yeah, <laughs> no. <laughs> well, that's work. You're not supposed to, you know, be like me, me walking out of work with a colorimeter. It'd not be good. Something cool we actually it's got. tempting. We have a digital imaging camera, so oh. I can actually shoot pictures of paint. Um, I use this camera. Uh -huh. Shoot the picture of the paint. It'll actually give me a paint code. Is it called an X Rite? No, it's uh, uh it's called a. Uh, we have we have one of those. It's it's like a hundred thousand dollars, and it's the size of like a calculator. It's called an X Rite, and it takes measurements from all different angles. That's what this does. Yeah. This is about seven thousand retail. Oh yeah. Um, but it's a little bit bigger. It's kind of bulky. Mm. That's probably why it's. Well, ours is for like. Ours is for. We have to protect ourselves from the customer. If the customer says the color's wrong and we don't have a high quality meter, right. then we're screwed. Ooh. And the edge primer is actually a little bit uh, worse for your lungs. Than the other stuff i can tell um yeah so uh this stuff i mean think it's etching into metal what's it going to do to your lungs just think of it that way um just a little friendly reminder <laughs> that you shouldn't be like just sniffing this like it's your job you know and as with most uh lacquers you see what's kind of cool is the Sharpie actually bleeds through the layers of the paint. Oh, so, man. Um, that's something to keep in mind. Should we just scrub the Sharpie off? It's too late now, but... Yeah, it's... it's you're never going to see it. But I think that actually shows how, how good Ecotech is with this, because they actually took the time to measure that yeah. and mark it. Most shops would just... <laughs> Done. Looks good. Yeah, Ecotech did a very good job. And we're definitely taking the car back there for our suspension work. Real friendly, guys. Yeah. It's going to be a tough one. He's really, really close to stuff that's already been painted. So that's, again, it's good he's using the green because it'll, if there's any overspray, then it will be very. Oh, I was supposed to go get you more light. Do you want me to go get that light? You sure? I need to bring those out here. They're useless in the house crotch. You can climb on in there if you need to, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was kind of disappointed. I couldn't even order masks for not getting ripped off, you know? Because you know as soon as the coronavirus is under control, the price is going to go back down. And then you have a $100 box of masks that's worth $5. Well, but for this time, I'm sure people are really capitalizing on it. You oh, they are. Well. They are. I'm sure people are reselling them for double what they, you See, know. Ass crack that you have seen. <laughs> no, actually, that doesn't help you at all. Probably impossible for anybody to see this with the GoPro, but oh well. Oh, oh. Almost got you. Yeah. <coughs> I mean, the the sole purpose of painting this for, at all is corrosion. There's right, really there's really no protection. point to paint it except for corrosion. I mean, it's it's a race car. It's gonna last maybe three years before we probably bend the frame or whatever, or so, yeah. Or 
Luckily, you can reuse the LS engine for the rest of right. its life. Just for, put it in something yeah. else and go again. Yeah. It just sucks because the amount of money spent on the roll cage is obviously complete garbage. I mean, that's how race cars work, you know? Yeah, your roll cages. That's why our drift cars were going to have to not waste money on the roll cage. Like, cheap. Well, that's why that Nocturnal company, yeah. I really think it's going to be a good solution. Yeah. Considering they did that one for like two grand. It's it really cheap. Beautiful. Yeah. I mean, yeah. full custom cage. Yeah. And mind you, half <laughs> our shit's going to be gutted, so it's yeah. not like... For, so for comparison, a full cage was two grand, and it was a eight-point cage, right? He had it so. coming out. Yeah. Two thousand dollars for an eight-point cage. This six-point cage cost eight thousand. Now this is a rally cage, so it's a little different. Right. It has gussets. That other cage didn't have gussets, right? Right. But for two thousand dollars for a drift car, that's that's. I mean, that you're gonna throw into a wall anyways yeah. and beat out with a hammer or like. Yeah. That's perfect. Now, obviously, if you're gonna go racing, like real racing, track racing, or anything right. over like twenty miles. 40 miles an hour, then you're gonna want. Can that spray upside down? I don't have it upside down. No. Oh. It's kind of sideways. Now that stuff's floating. Yes. I need to stay float. way farther back. Which is that the off color? Yes. So what what happened is this car has two blue colors, and the the blue that this car is is a super rare LY5Z. Ocean was it? Ocean blue is. Ocean. LY5Z Ocean Blue, it's a super rare color. So every time I've ever tried to order paint for it, they send me the nautical blue by mistake. And that's what happened to us. So we got, that can is nautical blue. It's a little too dark and there's not enough metal flake in it. However, we have another can of the LY5Z Ocean Blue for our top coat. So this is good enough for a- This is a, what we call a cover coat. Yeah. Um, basically, we're just trying to get it a blue shade. Hmm. And then we will come over with the correct blue shade. Hmm. Oftentimes, we do this in painting to save on materials. So basically, this stuff, it's nascent, fast dry acrylic enamel, as you can read the can. This stuff, you basically call up Napa, give them a paint code. They can shake it. Most stores, um, the, the smaller stores can't actually mix it. However, they can get their bigger stores to mix it and ship it to their store. So this stuff, um, I think wholesale, or not wholesale, but uh, like customer pricing is like $20. Obviously, if you've got an account, you can get it cheaper. But $20 is pretty cheap for custom paint. Honestly. Yeah, I mean, and they I can mean, mix virtually any yeah. color. And then it's, a, it's just an aerosol can. It's a very hardy paint. And obviously, it'll match close enough for what you're going to be doing. Um, so this stuff is really awesome because, you know, like if you do like an engine bay or something, this works really good to get in tight areas uh, once again. Yeah. And also, um, just little touch up areas, you know, maybe you weld it on something and you want to touch it up and you want it to be at least half ass the right color. Mm -hmm. Then you can get this stuff. Which is what we're doing. We're just half ass the right color, Correct. basically. Yeah. yeah. As long as it's a, a metallic blue, that's close. Right. Yeah, I mean the the car. The, it's not like it's a it's not like it's a pretty car. So yeah, obviously you're not going to do this to your hundred thousand dollar show car, right? Um, or if you do, um, <laughs> you know maybe you're you're doing something like you're you're touching up the very very bottom of the car, right? Where no one's ever going to see it. And you're going to you throw a mirror under it. You're not going to see it because it's in the low light. You're not, right. you know. So this stuff works awesome for that. Simply for the fact of if you run out, call your local store. They can have it to you most of the time by the end of the day. So that's really fast, really easy, yeah. really user friendly. I don't know if I can get close enough to even watch you do this. It's floating it. Well, no, no, it's staying down. That's weird. That's a pretty damn close for being the wrong color. See, that's that's why there's so many people that mistake the two colors because they're, they're so really, close. They're and that's pretty no. common for manufacturers to do that. Like they'll have a silver and then they'll have a silver silver mm -hmm. and then they'll have a dark silver. It's like just pick a fucking color and sell silver, the car. Yeah. yeah. Fuck. See, we run into that issue too because a lot of times, so um, what a lot of average Joes won't realize is that, so we've got this blue metallic, however, um, different uh, batches of paint are going to create is different. This? Is it still recording? Oh, yeah, okay, so, sorry, yeah. So different badges of paint are gonna create different uh, metallic layings and stuff like that in the vehicle. So we actually have variants. So this color actually could have up to 20 different versions of it. Jesus. So just the way the metallics lay, the you know how blue it is, stuff like that. It's the same color. Right. 
but, but it's there's a they lot mix a new batch it. every day at Correct. the factory there's a so. lot that goes into it yeah. um even as far as humidity <coughs> uh, when it's sprayed temperature all of that comes into play gun pressure so as a painter you've got to know all of this and so it's a lot more in depth than just using your rattle can but mm -hmm. obviously that's why this is just close even if it is the right color it's just close because of the metallic stuff like that the way it lays yeah is a lot different So basically your first couple coats, um, it's okay if there's some bare spots, you're gonna get them covered. Spray in a crosshatch pattern to get the, the best coverage, as well as um, not have all the tiger striping is what most people are familiar with it as, where you'll actually see where I've swiped each individual time. Hmm. Um, and just kind of go with a, with a medium wet coat, not, not really heavy, but not really light. See, I always struggle with that. I always end up with paint runs, no matter how hard I try not to overspray, like, you know, I don't know how to explain it. No matter how hard I try not to spray too heavy, I always end up with paint runs. I just can't, I can't get that art, that artistic, you know, like. A lot of it's just practice and knowing when to stop. And this is how you know Brandon's a pro. I mean, he's got a, it's already got a really nice blue coat, even though he's got all this shit in the way. I mean, this is exactly, this is exactly why I think we're gonna have a very, very good racing career with this car because Brandon is just ungodly talented at everything he does. I don't know about that. He doesn't, he, he doesn't, he doesn't even know it. <laughs> like. Everything he does yeah, is he's just ungodly That's talented. Key. That's the key. It, and I don't know. I mean, you know, it's hard to find good people that you can trust, you know? The main thing is just like anytime you talk to someone, it's just learn. You know, keep your mm. ears open. Mm. It doesn't matter, even if they're very inexperienced, a lot of times you can pick up something and learn from them. So, you know, just because someone doesn't necessarily know something, just listen and maybe you'll figure something out. <laughs> <laughs> That's my philosophy on life. That's why every time I tell Brandon I'm going to have something done in a week, he knows it's actually three months. Because <laughs> he listens. He's like, I know, I know this guy. He's going to get bored of it or pissed off at it and come back three months later to finish it. <laughs> Poor Porsche. It should have been done by now. <laughs> The suspension kind of fucked us, though. Yeah, I mean, it is what it is. I mean, this is only his first coat, and it already looks as good as the rest of it. So, this is awesome. This looks like a pain in the dick with that crossbar there. It kind of is. It's just some spray around. But you got to think of it this way. Most of the time, if you can't actually get... It to spray in there you're probably not going to see it a whole lot anyways so as long yeah. as it has something over it to cover against rust yeah I, I agree with that if you can't even see it to spray it you're not going to see it to complain right. about it yeah so as long as you got Man, something it already on there, even with the wrong color it already looks good i mean in the shadow it looks identical yeah, you, yeah. well to me anyway you're your right. eyes probably see a little better but So after this coat, we'll actually move to the correct color. So then we'll have, we'll know that all of it is a good blue, one solid color. And then we'll go into it with the correct color um, to finish it off. This is where I gotta stand way back because it's floating. It's amazing though. It, I mean, it, it, it floats for three seconds and then it just falls. That's yeah. awesome. It's, it's, that's just, just drying, you know? We, we probably didn't have to move the car at all. I probably should have listened to him. He tried to tell me, because I, I moved the car away from my really expensive bed sheet. <laughs> it's supposed to be an echo curtain. Obviously, it doesn't work. But, um, I mean, the paint hasn't even gotten that far. So, ah, oh, dude, just looking at this rubber, I can't wait to tear this rubber off. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Be like, no, babe, no. 
I don't want kids. Leave me alone. Don't touch. <laughs> Probably would have been better to bring my studio camera, but I do not want to get paint on it because I don't think you could clean it off. You know, like the GoPro lens is really easy to get to, or that one, the lens is inside that hood. Yeah. Yeah, fuck that. I really need new cameras like top to bottom. I need a new studio camera like a, you know, like a DSLR because those are better than the shoulder cameras now. Like a Panasonic G4 is old enough I might be able to afford it. And it's still got 4K, 24 FP, you know, like it's, it's still good still enough. Good and then I need, I need at least two GoPros, one for front, one for back. Technically really three if you really want to do it right, but that's a lot of uh, hard drive space you'd need to buy. Cause that's what sucks. You can't just buy a nice camera and use it. You have to have the hard drive space to, to hold run, the footage. Yeah. Like especially for, hey. uh, excuse me. 4K footage eats data. Yeah. I mean, to the point where, like if I was using 4K, which I've, I've done this on some video games, I record it, edit it, upload to YouTube, and then I wipe it off my hard drive, which is really risky because then you can never get it back if YouTube fucks you over, and they do sometimes. But if it's just a video game, who cares, you know? Yeah. But when I start recording 4K footage for my cars, I don't know what to do, because, I mean, I'd have to have like a freaking room full of hard drives you know which but what's good is obviously as technology advances you're cheaper yeah. Stuff, yeah you can buy a big book of hard drives like a for, standalone for not too bad but it would still only last a year or two i mean that's the crazy right. part so here let's show them i don't know if you can so the first time we sent in an order we said ly5z but we think it's nautical blue because we like I said, this LY5Z is a very, very rare color. And if you look at these values... Well, they're actually... They're, they're identical? The same. So I don't know... Well, that's confusing. Wait. I don't know. It might be the same. They're not the same, though. That's, that's what's so it confusing. shouldn't be the same. I'm confused. I swear to God, the LY5Z is a little bit lighter. But this says it's the same. Which is really weird. So we'll see. We'll see once we spray it. Whatever. At least we're not spraying the outside like a fender repair or something. We'll probably have to have that custom matched, I guess, if we ever have to repair a fender. I'll match it. Yeah, because... I mean, but where's the one I bought from? So this came from online, and it matched. You can kind of see right there where I... Here you go. I'll get you some light on the subject. <clears throat> Right there, you can you can kind of see where it like. Well, it matches where the pretty, blend pretty stopped, good but right it's there. Not bad. There's a blend right there. Yeah. Not bad. It's for granted this part wasn't in the sunlight. Correct. So, but yeah, I don't know. That's weird that they have the same color codes even though they're different OEM. That's really fucking weird. Whatever. It matches. I mean, fuck, it matches just how it is now. I don't really see like a... <clears throat> so in this coat, we'll actually go a little bit further, uh, so that way we blend into the other material okay. there. <coughs> Hold on, actually. Well, you can keep going. I'm going to change the battery in this thing. Okay, we're back with a fresh battery, but... Obviously, Brandon kept going because we don't want to leave right. leave the job. That actually is the slightly different color. It's darker, but it's yeah. still... It's, I don't know. I'm confused. I don't know. I like the darker color. It looks better. And honestly, the color on the cage is too light. If you compare that's, it to the rest of the, the car. Issue. Yeah, the cage, I think, was painted the incorrect color. Uh, I really do. Wouldn't be surprised. Because, if anything, the car should be lighter because of the sun fading. Right. Things of that nature. You know, that's probably what we're seeing. We're seeing 
the sun fade on the fender compared to this color and then whatever color is on the cage is just wrong. Which I told them it was okay to like half-ass color match it, but it looks like they just like one quarter ass color matched it. Which is, again, it's a race car. It's really not a big deal, so. And the paint job was actually cheap. It was very, I think it was less than a grand to paint the whole thing. Which is real, to me is pretty cheap for a cage and all the body had to be painted because it was all covered in that foam shit. So when they scraped the foam off, it scraped a bunch of paint off the floor too, so. That looks pretty damn good, Brandon. I'm gonna get this trip hazard out of our way. Dude, I really liked your idea to put all this, uh, the straps and shit in a bucket. That's fucking genius. Right. Yeah, I need to do that, honestly, because right now they're just in the way. Could you imagine having to paint that whole roll, roll cage with a spray can? <laughs> well, you'd I've probably. Done, I've done worse. You'd probably have to do it in stages because some of, like, say, like right now you're leaning on it. So how would you do that? Would you have to paint the front and then wait for it to dry so you can lean on it to paint the back, or how would you step by step, huh? Yeah. yeah. Something like that. So now we've got all of our coverage. All of our panels are covered. Everything's the way we want it. Got three coats on everything, so it should be very plentiful. Good. As far as paint, so. Good. Now, we can come back with a clear coat. Do we have enough clear to also do the dash bar since I'll be clamping instruments to yeah, it? Yeah, I planned on doing it. Oh, you did? Okay, good man. I guess, yeah, because it's right there, you can see it too, so. So how long to wait before the clear, or is it pretty well, much ready? So. Because that's the other thing I fucked up on the back there is I, I sprayed the blue over the primer too quickly and it kind of, the primer bubbled up, which yes. was scary as fuck. Coming out. Yeah. So you're gonna wanna give it a little bit of flash time. Um, I would wait a good five, 10 minutes. That's it? Yeah. What the fuck? Lacquer dries really I did something fast. wrong then, cause I know I waited longer. Too Maybe bad. I had too much paint. Okay, yeah, gotcha, gotcha. See, because every time I'm layering on and I'm doing thin layers, it allows gotcha. those solvents to escape and the paint to dry. Okay. Um, whereas if you lay a big, heavy coat on, it's going to take longer for those solvents and things to evaporate. Gotcha. It's too bad this poor car is probably going to sit another three to six months. <laughs> poor thing. I'm very heavily considering having Ecotech do the fuel lines for me. I think, did I mention that? Yeah, because they can do them and they can do them right. And I mean, I can do them, but it would take 10 times as long because I'd be fighting and cussing and, you know. Yeah. I mean, honestly, it'd probably be better to have them do them because they've done rally cars and we, we could trust them to be safe and correct. Right. So the last thing I need is a fuel line rupturing. You know, well, you, it's going to be next to you. <laughs> so. The, the fuel fittings are right behind his seat because that's the only place they'd fit. Gotta so, <laughs> but we're using AeroQuip with a fire sheathing over it. So, I mean, you'd be all right. <laughs> I mean, there are 3,000 psi hydraulic lines that are repurposed as fuel lines. So, there's no. The only way that line would tear is if you're probably dead anyway. Which probably, you know, yeah. I mean, you honestly, to worry yeah. About. Yeah, if you if you get through that cage to the fuel line, you're you're there you're, are you're fucked. Yeah, there was this really fucked up. There was this picture. This I don't remember if it was the co-driver or the driver was like standing next to a burning car, 
and the the caption was that the other guy was still in there. Just like I'd fucking get jump back he in the fire. No, like I I couldn't watch that. I would be in that fire trying to save him instead of standing there like, you know what I mean? Like yeah. that's fucked up. Well, and it's like pull him out of the fucking car, you know? Or I mean, it's like going down with the ship. Like you can't just let one person go and then you're the only one left. Like that's yeah, fucked that up. That's really fucked up. And the weird thing is the car didn't look like it was wrecked. It looked like it was like a malfunction. Like the engine maybe blew up and shattered the fuel lines or something. It was it was fucking gnarly. It, maybe he wasn't even there and it was just some dramatic fucking... It could have been a fake picture, yeah. I mean, you never know these days. You can't trust anything. Just someone being really dramatic. Yeah. What about, does the clear? The clear is. Ooh, the clear kind of floats. Yes. Ooh, I'm backing way up. Not that clear would probably hurt the GoPro at all, but. Wow, the clear's floating away. Thank God it's clear. I'm assuming it's a completely different formula from it's, the. Yeah, there's a lot different material in it. Fucking shit's floating all over the place. Where's the. I don't really have a place for this paint because it's. Is it gonna hurt the paint if it's out here in the 50 degree weather if we leave it out here? Like, I got all my car wash supplies in the bathroom, which is 60 degrees minimum, just in case. Yeah. I accidentally froze car wash soap one time and it completely fucking ruined it. Really? Because I thawed it back out, but the chemicals wouldn't mix back together because the water was separated. It's like when you try to freeze coke and it just turns into a sponge. It is totally ruined. So the reason why we're clear coating the harness bar is because when the belts rub on it, they'll rub the paint right off. The clear coat's a lot stronger and harder. Um, in the front bar, we clear coated. We clear coat it just because you can see it through the windshield and because I'll be clamping stuff to it. So when I clamp and... Also, the UV rays will be uh, okay. on UV, gotcha. So the clear coat's just for the sun and it's for durability. Because the rest of the cage isn't clear coated, it was just a single stage. But I think it was a single stage, like, single stage auto paint. So I think it's already got UV... Yes. It it better. I mean, it was like legit single stage pain. It wasn't, you know, I don't know. Single stage can chalk out, um, but what's crazy about it is you can actually just buff most of the chalking out of it. Really? Yeah. Jeez, that clear coat's just flying. And that's how it does. And in, in the so whenever you actually paint a vehicle with automotive paint. Clear coat lingers and it'll actually stick to your arms and stuff. Oof. Yeah. That's why we got the downdraft booths, right? To keep that clear coat away from the... Well, it does that. It gets rid of your overspray, stuff like that. But a lot of times, even then, it, it's still going to stick to you. Wow. I wear a paint suit. Um, it obviously helps with that. Yeah, I would hope so, since that's all you do is paint. Some, some people don't. I mean. Fuck that. <laughs> I thought you had to. I thought the law was that, like, OSHA, you had to wear pretty a paint sure, suit. Yeah, pretty sure you're like, supposed to. Like, shit. Some people just... I mean, I guess if it's like a hundred degrees in the summer, then I could, I, I could, my underwear. Legit, <laughs> oh I my do. God, it's like a onesie, dude. You guys don't have air conditioning in there, huh? No, the booth, you can only heat ours. You can't, oh, some of them man. actually have a, a cooling function. It's kind of interesting. My garage <laughs> is better climate controlled than your shop, <laughs> but I guess you got to make money. You're not going to make money by paying hundreds of dollars in air conditioning bills. We fling the doors open. <laughs> Sweat. Yeah, true. So we'll let that uh, kind of tack off mm. and then we'll hit it once, One once more? more and then it'll be good to go. Cool. So. I'm actually, I'm gonna pause the camera real quick and shut the heater off. Well, how long do we need the 70 degrees? I'll shut it off after we're done then because I don't want to keep keep paying for that shit. You can see that meter out there spinning like <laughs> Well, it's digital now, but it's like, yeah, it's like, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. That's basically like, you know, 
It really makes me mad when I have a $20 electric bill and then a $30 access fee. It makes me want to fucking choke them. Because I even argued, I was like, look, I have my house access fee. It's on the same address and the same property. And they're like, well, we charge per meter. Fuck you guys. $30 to not even use electricity out here. This is fucking bullshit. I guess that's just their guarantee that they're going to make money on your shit. Yeah, they're paying for that poll they put in for free, which they own the poll, though, so that's kind of a... Mm, and they could use that poll for whatever. Yeah, yeah it's not like it's go. just my poll, so... It is for now, but... Yeah, it's Bastards. fucking fucking stupid. You think they'd at least have the courtesy to make, like have a secondary meter fee, like $15. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, something for... But I mean, I guess then an apartment complex could fuck them over because then... But that's different addresses. It's address A, B, C, or this is one property, one address. Yeah, yeah. Which I purposefully didn't add a B for the shop because number one, I don't want assholes delivering shit here and driving on my driveway. And two is that could fuck me over on my taxes and shit by making it look like a separate property when it's not. Cause that's, they love that. They love their, their tax money and, uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> that looks so fucking good with that clear coat, man. We could actually oh, dude, I love this metal flake in this. God damn, that looks good. We could actually oh, wow. put the, uh, if you wanted to, we could put the, uh, this clear protector over it. The vinyl? Yeah. Um, oh, the harness bar? I don't, I don't know, because, I mean, the, the, the harness is going to eat the vinyl just like it would the paint. Is right. the vinyl really stronger than the clear coat? It's thicker. It's not necessarily stronger, it's thicker. I don't know. I, the, the belt has to be able to move with your shoulders. I, I think the vinyl might actually, like, stick. For now, we can leave it. Worst case, we have to touch it up and put the vinyl on it. But well, we vinyled the shit out of it. I mean, you guys probably can't see it on the GoPro, but wait. Yeah. That's the side. That scratch was already there, yeah. But there's. <laughs> this is the side you did. Yeah. Brandon did a really good job on the vinyl over here. He cut it all to notch out. And then my job over here, again, I don't think you guys can see it on there the you GoPro. Go. Now you guys can see. This is, this is my job. You can see the difference in quality, but as long as we're not like, you know, scraping the paint off with our butts right because ultimately you're going to be rubbing this every every, every time you get in yeah. and out of the vehicle oh yeah i mean you're literally going to be crawling in and out of the vehicle because of yeah. this shit so yeah oh there's so much work to do oh man a lot of work to do <laughs> like i got new new of these so that it has like fresh wires so I can wire it up to my... Wait, do I even need... Yeah, yeah, I need a dome light. I mean, yeah. I'm just half-ass a dome light in there. Dude, the BMW, the dome lights, they actually have dome lights right here in the back. It's really cool. Did huh. I tell you that it... That's a German thing for sure. Like, goddamn. It was supposed to come with a phone. Someone had had a Radio Shack add-on phone in the vehicle. Oh, a car phone? phone? Yeah. No way. took it. Of course, they probably Pissed. sold it. They probably sold it, man. They probably sold it. Well, oh, you got the really. Yeah. See, that's why I cover my license plate because it's really fucking easy to find that info. Well, I mean, you probably got it through the VIN, but. No, I didn't. I actually, uh, the, all the information was in the glove box. Oh, no way. Yeah, some guy's speeding thing was in there, too. Ah. That's hilarious. <laughs> I wouldn't leave a speeding ticket in the glove box because, you know, like say you get pulled over again and you go to get your insurance and the cop sees that nice, big, long speeding ticket, he's going to give you another fucking ticket just because. This asshole has been pulled over before. Yeah. I mean, if I was a cop, I would be more, I would be more interested in giving tickets to repeat offenders than somebody with a clean record, which is why I very rarely actually get tickets because if I do, you know, you have them turned into a really expensive a, a parking ticket. Violation. Yes. 
and then your record's clean. Yeah. So when they pull you up the next time, they're like, oh, he's never sped before. Yeah. It's like, you keep thinking that, officer. Oh, God. Yeah. I'm a good little boy, officer. Yeah. That carbon fiber wing is just because I like to show off. It's not yeah. anything to do with downforce at 160 miles an hour. I like to assert my dick size. Yeah. I have to prove that my dick is bigger than my wing. Well, for the people that don't know what I'm talking about, this wing looks big, but this is an aerodynamically correct wing. It is designed to provide downforce at the correct speeds. It's not actually here to look good. It's here to do a job with the canards in the correct shape to create. Well, it does look sexy. It does look really fucking sexy and it makes my dick look bigger, right? No, but this is a functional wing. It's not that stupid ass fucking chassis mount, big dick, disgusting garbage that everybody likes. It's a real- I like chassis mount! He likes chassis mount. It's a real functional wing. I like big wings! He likes big wings. <laughs> I do, I'm a kid at heart, okay? You know what they say, an oversized clit is one step from an undersized dick. There's a lot of truth in that. <laughs> Do you know what movie that's from? Do you know what movie that, that's from? Aw, oh, man. Clerks 2 is like a classic. It's almost as classic as Clerks 1. I have no idea. Oh, you're killing me. I'm a fucking pup. I need to show you that movie. Dude, I got a... When was that created? I guarantee it's oh, before my time. Yeah, definitely before you were born. Well, no. I don't know, actually. 2000? Uh, I have to check. I have a copy of it. But uh, that Ford vs. Ferrari movie... They're not selling it on Amazon yet. Like, you can't even pre-order it. I don't know what the fuck the deal with that is. But I have a, like, I have an email reminder set for when you can pre-order it. Because I want to have, like, a big movie night. Because supposedly that's a really fucking good car movie. Yeah, that's your dad's thing. Yeah. And everyone else that I talked to. Yeah, my about. dad wants to come down to watch it on the projector. Well, Anthony and his dad said that that was a Yeah, we could, movie. we should invite them. Yeah. I don't, I don't know if, it, yeah. Cause I think if his dad met my dad, I think they'd be friends instantly. Bestie. Yeah, I think so. Especially my dad rolls up in a GT4. <laughs> yeah, like, well, Dude, oh man, I cannot wait to drive that GT4. Oh my I'm fucking it. God. I'm driving it too. Dude. I'm driving it. Oh my God. If he lets you drive it, I'll shit my pants. Yeah, but he might. He likes you I a lot. Yeah. Gotta get, well, I could fly the drone then. Have, have someone drive me behind the car and I can fly the drone from the passenger seat. Yeah. Are you done? Yeah, we're done. Okay. <coughs> so, before we turn off the camera, uh, cure time. Like, don't touch it and... It actually you know, say on the can, I don't know, probably just give it like an hour or two hours. That's it. Yeah, so not get, like a 24 hour sit overnight? No, not unless you're gonna like mount something to it. Oh, okay. You're gonna want it to let, you know, so, it sit like that. Um, so you can like, What's it called? It's tacked over in an hour, Correct. but it's not cured in an hour. Correct. It's not fully really cured. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, just just uh, be mindful that you, I mean, you just painted your shit. Um, right. You know, if you can, ideally, yeah, let it sit overnight, whatever. Right. Just so you don't get antsy, you don't want to touch it. You right. Know, kind of shit, you know. So I'm probably as far like so. Say if you're like me and you're in a climate controlled area that normally isn't this like so right now it's on 70 and you can hear that fucking thing running and burning my money up <laughs> yeah. so i need to turn it back down to 50 but we're probably gonna wait we're gonna film a little bit of video on the frs so after that we'll probably shut the temperature off yeah and it will take all night this is really well insulated so it'll take all night before it goes back yeah and so, so that's that, another thing is that mindful. good enough yes that's good enough okay. so uh but whenever you're painting mm. if you paint in a really cold environment all of your cure times Skyrocket. are up exponentially. Yeah. Yeah. So if you're at 50 degrees, be very mindful of that because it's gonna be really easy to run the paint. Also, don't just be like, just because your shop's 70 degrees, means mm. your paint on 70 degrees. Oh yeah, Most yeah, of the yeah. time, your metal temp is actually 10 degrees lower, fun mm. fact. So Really? Um, wow. So depending on how well, you know, if you've heated up for all day or if you let it sit outside for right, all day, gotcha. whatever, um, so since I just raised the temp, well, last night it was 65. This morning I turned it to 70. So this, this car heat, is probably not 70 degrees no, yet. You're if, probably right, if yeah. You heat, if you heat gun this, yes, I guarantee you it's not 70 degrees. Because like whenever we bake things down in the booth, 
at 140 degrees, metal temp's actually 130. Wow. So, so it might be so worth it to right. leave my heater on until, say, dinner time then to make absolutely yeah. sure it cures right. Because that would suck if we come back out next week and it's still fucking wet. Yeah. You know, it like, wouldn't, it, that, yeah. I don't think you'd have that issue, but. Hmm. So. Cool. It looks good, man. Sweet. Good job. Sweet. Now we don't have to worry about rust anymore. And we can, I can put these windows, because I want to start putting the windows back right. in. The windows can go Because when I take it to Ecotech next time, I want them to be able to keep it, even if they're waiting on parts. Because so say, if they have they to order. It out, yes. Because last time I told them they had to leave it inside, and I think that kind of caused a lot of problems for them. But there, there's no windows, so I can't have it out there yeah. in St. Louis where somebody could jump in and steal my shit yeah. or where it could get rained on. So what I want to do is make it ready to, like almost make it look like it's done when the hood, like put the hood on, windshield, windows, the doors, got it. the doors obviously aren't finished, but they need to go back on. That way the car... And I'll leave the door locks intact for now, even though you're not supposed to for the race. So they can lock the car, they can s let it sit, because they're going to have to order top hats. They're going to have to... The so fuck? I want the car to be able to... If I have to sit this car at Ecotech for three months, yeah. because of, not because they're working on it, because they have to order parts. I want it, I want it to be able to do that, because I don't want to have to trailer it up and back, up and back. Fuck, yeah, I keep fuck doing that. that yeah. Especially after almost getting killed by that asshole that fucking cut us off, so. There was that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, thanks for helping, Brandon. No problem. I'm gonna transition over to the FRS. Thanks so those of you there. watching, there's another video being uploaded after this video for the FRS. So that's three, three videos in one day. That's probably too many, but whatever. Yeah. So <laughs> we will see you guys next time. Deuces.